and I am the owner and creator of Freedom Couture. Today I'm really excited for this class. I'm going to be teaching you how to do a U-part install. I'm going to be using a model with European hair. Lace is always going to have a lot more flexibility, versatility and advancements rather than using weave. So there's a lot of similar techniques to doing a U-part install the same as the old school leave out weave. Um, like it's a similar braid down, it's a similar type of thing where you're leaving the sides and the top out. However, it's a lot faster um, and it's a lot more comfortable for your client because lace is a lot more gentle. Same level for the braids all the way around. So it's really easy, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Get your books, your pen, your paper. Let's get started. because the bottom braid will always loosen the fastest. You want to angle it up a little bit and then you want to continue braiding all the way down on your left side and you're pretty much just going to join them. When you're cutting it, don't cut too much. Just go little bit by little bit. Start to position it and then see how it's fitting. If you cut it too much, it's really hard to make it perfect. You can see that this is the perimeter braid, so we want the perimeter of the wig to match up to the braid. In, and when I'm coming to the top, what I want to try and do is tuck the lace under as much as possible because then I'm putting the needle in going in a downwards motion and then if I pull the thread down sort of going to tuck that lace down you're going to get a really nice blend here so when the customer's hair goes over it's going to be very flat and flawless So once you've installed the perimeter, you just want to sew a few layers in the middle. You want to put the thread underneath the lace so it's less visible. And then when you feel a braid, that's when you want to do one secure knot. And then once you've finished that knot, you want to put the needle back 